Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing. It's a very pretty spring inspired pastel feminine girly look and I absolutely love how it came out. I got my Makeup Geek Duochrome eyeshadow in Blacklight in my BoxyCharm this month and I definitely, definitely wanted to use this because it's just so pretty. I think I'm definitely going to have to get more of the duochrome eyeshadow because they're absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, if you want to know how to get the look that I'm wearing, then keep on watching. So the very first thing I'm going to start off with is spraying my face with this. And this is the Pixie by Petra Hydrating Milky Mist. And this is just going to add a little bit of hydration to our skin and kind of freshen it up, ready for makeup. So I'm just going to find the nozzle first. And the next thing I'm going to do is take my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and spray this on my face as well. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. And this is in number one, Creamy Vanilla. But this is a little bit too dark for me. It's still dark and it does oxidize. So I ordered this and this is by Manic Panic. And this is the Dream Tone Vegan Flawless Foundation Color Corrector in... Virgin, which is just a pure white base. So what I'm going to do is mix this with this foundation so it matches my skin a little bit better. It's actually my second time doing this. I did this yesterday and I really, really liked it. I'm going to experiment with other foundations as well. But if you have foundations that are too dark for you, you can always get a white and mix it with their, with their in it and create a lighter base because I'm very fair the lightest color of every foundation is always too dark or oxidizes like really badly. So that's what it looks like now. I'm going to see if it works. That works. My neck is a little bit darker than my face, so this should be fine. Um, yeah, this is good. I'm going to take a damp beauty blender, take some of the foundation and start blending it into my skin. I'm going to move on to concealer, and this is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers. It's so creamy. It's so it's so good. Um, I think I grabbed the one that I'm running out of instead of my brand new backup, but it's totally fine. We'll make it work. Okay, so now I'm going to set my makeup, and I have been about that translucent powder life for a really, really long time, but I have been trying something lately that I have actually been really, really liking, and that is this right here. This is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation, and this is in Fairlight Neutral. I, I don't know. I just picked this up from Ulta, and I really like it. I didn't know anything about it. I just bought it. I don't know, but I've actually been really liking it. I like the way it makes my makeup look. I kind of adds a little bit like extra oomph. It's not like I need extra coverage, but just softens the look, gives you a little bit more coverage and just makes everything look like perfect. But yeah, translucent powder is still pretty amazing. So I'm just gonna take this on my Morphe MB8 brush and just set my powder. I'm not gonna like buff or rub. I'm just gonna kind of take a little bit, not too much and just press it into the skin. Before I move on, I'm going to take this Milani Moisture Lock Coconut Oil Infused Lip Treatment and I'm going to apply this to my lips so they don't dry out. The applicator on this is so big and it's so funny. The first time I applied it, I was like, that's weird. But yeah, this stuff is really, really good. Oh my god. So good. For my bronzer, I'm going to be using this one from Jouer, and this is in Suntan. It's a beautiful matte bronzer, warms up the skin absolutely beautifully. It's something I've been using every day, and I'm going to be using this e.l.f. brush right here. I forgot what it's called, but they fit together so well. I'm just going to take a little bit and apply it to my cheeks. I'm going to be using this also from Tarte and this is the Colored Clay Bronzer Blush Park Avenue Princess Pink Bronze and it's so pretty. I love the packaging and that's what it looks like inside. Absolutely love this. It gives you a really pretty natural pinky sheen to the cheeks, also warming it up as well. So that is what I'm using today. Okay, 
Okay, so now we're moving on to our highlighter and that's the question of the day, which one am I gonna wear today? Yesterday I actually left the house without any highlighter and I was in the car and I looked in the mirror and there was no glow on my face and I felt so lost and naked and confused. I felt like I didn't have a meaning to my I can't, I'm so sorry. So basically highlighter is super important and I feel really weird and naked without it when I leave the house. It's like when you forget to wear mascara, it just bothers you all day long and it's just, you know, it's just like strange feeling. But today I'm going to be using this highlighter by Ofra and it's a collaboration with Dupe That and it's You Glow Girl. It's a really pretty pinky pearlized shade and this is a very, very intense. I'm going to be applying this with my... Real Techniques brush. Um, this is a fan brush. I've actually never applied highlighter with a fan brush before. This is new. Um, so this is going to be kind of new. I see everybody on Instagram and the YouTubes using it. So I wanted to use it as well. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to take a very small amount. Okay, let's do this. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy moly. That's a lot. Um, but I guess it just makes up for the fact that I forgot to wear highlighter yesterday. Right? I love highlighting and I think highlighting is so beautiful and it's so fun but I feel like there are a lot of people who just take it like to infinity and beyond <laughs> when it's not necessary. You don't need to look like a wet creature of the sun. I, am, I don't know but <laughs> I think a little bit is beautiful to give you a little bit of glow but I think if when you overdo it it just looks too much. It's like nobody naturally looks like that. I'm gonna add a little on the tip of my nose down the bridge of my nose. It's kind of hard to apply on the nose with this thing. Hmm, okay. So I actually really do like how the fan brush applies. It's just a little harder to kind of have it like look diffused because it kind of applies it in like a strip. So you kind of have to go in there and just blend it out. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. So we're gonna move on to our eyebrows. And for that, I'm gonna be applying my ColourPop Brow Color in the color Dope Taupe. This is my tried and true, my one true love, my favorite at the moment for my eyebrows. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. Da 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 da. Um, this stuff is just really, really good. It's super creamy. A little goes a very long way. I actually find this to apply a little bit easier than the Anastasia uh, dip brow pomades because those you can really go overboard really really quickly this one is very pigmented and creamy but for some reason it looks more natural and it doesn't like look really crazy or scary so I don't know I really like this stuff and at the end of the day when my eyebrows are still perfectly arched and on my face it's just like Our face is done, now we're going to move on to our eyes and I kind of wanted to do something very soft and pastels, beautiful light colors, like very spring-like. Um, I was very much inspired by this shadow by Makeup Geek that I got in my BoxyCharm this month. It's in black light and it's this really pretty lavender to a soft baby blue duochrome. I don't know, it's really pretty sight. I want to kind of use this on my lids somehow and I don't know what look I'm going to really go for, but I know I want to use this color for sure, so let's do this. First, I'm going to take the color Mirage from Makeup Geek, and I'm going to apply this in my brow bone. Now I'm going to take the color Creme Brulee with my Morphe E22 brush and apply this to the crease. With the same brush, I'm going to take the color Unexpected, also from Makeup Geek. And then I'm taking a Cupcake by Makeup Geek again with the same brush and just applying that over top. Going back to Unexpected once more, I'm just going to take a little bit more and just keep applying that. Now I'm taking the color by Makeup Geek in black light and I'm taking my Sigma E55 brush and I'm just going to pack this on my lid. Now I'm going to take my ColourPop eyeliner in the color Zulu and I'm going to apply this underneath my bottom lash line.
And on top of Zulu, I'm going to be applying Isla from my Anastasia self-made eyeshadow palette. Now I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Cream Gel Color in the color Crybaby, which is a pretty pastel lavender. And I'm going to be applying this to my waterline. I'm going to go ahead and apply a wing using my Galactic Eyeliner. And this is really, really hard to film, so bear with me. <laughs> Now I'm going to be applying these lashes by Violet Voss, and this is in the style Whispered Real Good. I totally forgot to apply mascara before, but it's okay, we can apply it after. <laughs> And finally, we're gonna finish off the look with some lips. Um, again, it's always hard for me to choose a lip to wear with any look because I just love all my liquid lipsticks so, so much. But today I thought I would try out the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Kit and this is in Coco K. Uh, this is just like a really soft pink shade. Hopefully it's not too nude on me, but I do want something like really soft so the eyes pop since it's so woo. Um, so I'm gonna be using that with the lip pencil. Where's my mirror? I'm always losing my mirror in my videos. Where did I put it? Oh, got it. This is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I love how this look came out. I definitely want to recreate it for some sort of event because this duochrome eyeshadow is seriously just perfection. I, I love it. Um, let me know if you guys liked it down in the comments. Give it a like if you did like it. Thumbs up. Um, and as usual, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Makeup by Jesse. I'm always posting looks and swatches and products and things on there. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.